Hey guys, I'm Gavin. Welcome to our church experience at home. It's so cool that we can have church no matter where we are. And whether you're watching on your own with your family or with your parents, here's what today looks like. We're gonna have some awesome worship, and then we're gonna watch a fun message that will teach us something very cool from the Bible. And then you're actually gonna have time to think and talk about what you learned today. So let's get started. And let's get started with this question. What's been the best part of your week? What's up? It's Carissa, and it is time to worship. Worship is a time where we get to dance, sing, and give God praise for all that he's done and for all that he is. And hey, did you guys know that there's more than just one way to worship God? One way we can worship God is by jumping and dancing and shouting and singing. But another way we can worship God is by slowing things down a bit and by thinking and praying about the words that we're singing. Another way to worship God is by simply just lifting our hands up like this. And when we lift our hands, we're telling God, God, I trust you and I give you everything. You can worship God not only at church, but at school, when you're hanging out with your friends and even at home. And that's what we're gonna do right now together. So I invite you guys to stand up, grab a buddy, and let's worship God together. Here we go. Your voice calling out for me 
I'm Matt. This guy right here is... Hey, I'm Gavin. It's Gavin. Today we are having a trivia challenge. Blazing edition. That's right. We got a lot of hot stuff here because if we get a question wrong, we are going to have to take one of these things and dip it into this very hot sauce. Ooh, look at this. It is Arizona Gunslinger Habanero Pepper Sauce. Yikes. It says it's smoking hot. Uh, I'm a little scared right now. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna be brave and we're gonna do this. Oh my! Look at that. That's that's <laughs> that's frightening. Is, oh, there we hey, go. There hey, there we go. There. Yikes! This is a dark red. That's wow. Look at that. All right, let's let's get to the trivia. Okay, here we go. First trivia question, Amanda. Question one. The highest naturally occurring temperature on Earth was recorded at 145.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. True or false? True. False. Okay, he says true, I say false. What do One we got? Gotta do something. All it's right. False. It was 134.1 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit. You <laughs> Woo. Okay. okay. Hey, Gavin, which one are you gonna what, pick? One of these hot stuff, am I gonna dip in hot sauce? <laughs> okay. I, I feel like I'm used to chicken and yeah. you know hot wings. Yeah, so I'll go for so you dip that. these little hot all wings. All right, all right, let's do it. And not gonna go. We well, gotta be generous. All right, there we go. I, there, what do you think? Is, is that, that, is good, that good? Yeah. You think that's good? All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Is it blazing? Because this is blazing edition. Yeah, it's a. Uh, How you feeling? 145 degrees in my mouth right now. <laughs> Sponges hold more cold water than hot water. True or false? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. True. False. I'm it's just. True! Yes! Ah, stop that! Finally! <laughs> I was trying to stay. Finally! Feel oh. my pain. Uh, I will feel your pain uh, with a. I'm a fan of Doritos. Let's uh, let's get a Dorito here. I am not happy about this. I don't know if you can see that very well. 
Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness. Can we? Are we allowed to drink water? Did you drink any water? No. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> the hottest man-made temperature ever recorded is 7.2 trillion degrees Fahrenheit. What? True or false? What? Wow. Man-made temperature. How can you test that? You got your answer? Yep. Uh, okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. True. False. It's true. Yeah! <laughs> oh, no. Poor Gavin. Ah. Sorry. I think you should just go nope. right for the pepper. I'm going for <laughs> the hot taco. Okay. Right. And just, you yeah. are, you're such a brave soul that you're going to put the Taco Bell hot sauce on there first. Seems right. Not just any hot sauce, just the Diablo, the hottest of your Taco Bell choices. Well, that's appropriate. So we're going to get All just right. a little bit on there. Oh, yeah. dear. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Hold on. I got you. You know what? I think that, that's probably good. Yeah. That's probably okay. good. Give it a little bit. Oh, man. Mom, I love you. <laughs> so naturally, every, everything's fine. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> How you doing, bud? Those, are you sweating? No. Yeah, like you're sweating. <laughs> Everything hurts. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. Uh, here we go, Amanda. Last, right. last trivia question here. Pepper's Ready? on the line. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. True or false? Three, two, one, false. It's true! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, yes. we both have Let's to do this. Get our habanero peppers. This is great. All right. Um, all right. <laughs> All right. I lost already. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, yep, that hit. It just came, it just came in. Oh, ma'am. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ay, 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 ay. Woo! There's some seeds stuck in my oh. teeth. Ah! Oh, ah! Ah! <coughs> Ah! I give up. Hold on. Give me one second. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I did not spit any of that out. Oh! Ah. 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 Okay. Well, we both lost that one. Both lost the challenge. Pretty. It was pretty rough. Uh. Uh, we're both dying, as you can see. I don't feel good. So, uh, <laughs> um, what's uh, yeah. what's our question? Right. Oh. Ah! Ah! Gosh, you good? <laughs> hey, that was pretty, that's pretty hot. Whew, it yes, really it is hot. <laughs> Those are some of the hottest foods. <laughs> There's a question. So tell us about the hottest food you've ever had. Yeah. That you've ever eaten. What was it and how hot was it? Talk so, about that in your group, something like that. Talk about it. Oh!
All right, well, I'm sure a lot of us out there uh, enjoy hot and spicy food. I think Gavin and I are gonna lay off the uh, spicy foods for a while. Uh, my, my mouth is kind of like a blazing furnace, which reminds me, hmm. there is a blazing furnace in our Bible breakdown today. So let's get that breakdown with Gavin. Our story begins with Daniel's friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And if you were here last week, we learned that the Jewish people were not obeying God the way they were supposed to. So they were captured by these people called the Babylonians and forced away from their homes. But even during this time of exile, Daniel and his friends showed such loyalty and trust to God. They knew that God was with them every step of the way, no matter what even if that meant being thrown into a blazing furnace for not doing what the king said. Let me explain. The king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, <laughs> yeah, that was his name, King Nebi, made a huge statue of himself in the city. I mean like huge. I'm talking 90 feet high. The king had one of his workers gather all the people together and told them that any time they heard the sounds of music from harps, trumpets, and other instruments playing, everyone must bow down and worship the statue. Basically, the king was forcing everyone to worship him. Here's the kicker. The king said that if anyone decides to not bow down and worship the statue, they will immediately be thrown into the blazing furnace. That sounds like that would hurt pretty bad. But Daniel's friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were in the crowd and they heard all of this but they knew they shouldn't worship the statue or the king. God was the only one they should worship. So when all these instruments began playing music, everyone started to bow down and worship the statue. Well, everyone except Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they kept standing. While every single person was bowing down to this statue, they were the only ones standing up for God. That's incredible. Well. The king found out about this, and as you can imagine, he was not too happy about it. He was furious. Daniel's friends were brought before the king, and the king said to them, guys, you will bow down to the statue, and if you don't, you're gonna be thrown into the blazing furnace, got it? But Daniel's friends knew that that wasn't the right thing to do. So knowing God had their back, they told the king, King Nebuchadnezzar, if we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Wow. Um, do they realize what they just told the king to his face? They straight up told the king that he can throw them into the furnace if he wanted, but they were only going to serve God and God alone. That took some major guts to say that, but they trusted that God was with them. And I wish I could say the king was merciful to these guys and let them off the hook, but he did what he said he was going to do. He threw them into the blazing furnace. And he was so upset with them that he had the flame seven times hotter than normal. It was so hot that the soldiers who threw them into the furnace were killed instantly. No one could survive that. So it seemed like Daniel's friends were toast. But then, the king noticed something in the furnace. He was like, wait just one second. Didn't we throw just three people in there? Why do I see four people? There was someone else in the furnace with them. The king was amazed. Not only did he see a fourth person with them, but Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were still alive. The fire was not affecting them at all. How is that possible? So the king ordered to get them out of the furnace and when they were out, there were no signs of burns anywhere. Not even a hair was singed. The king couldn't believe it. God had sent someone to protect them in the furnace. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego completely trusted God, and God had their backs. The king was also so mind blown that he promoted them. It even started worshiping God himself. How cool. See, God was with Daniel's friends. They trusted him even when they had a chance of dying. But God had their backs the whole time. And he has our backs too. No matter what you're feeling or when things don't seem to be going your way all the time at home, at school or with your friends, trust that God is with you. 
because he is with you. He's got your back. This week, remember, God's got you. Wow, what an awesome story. Thanks, Gavin. Uh, right now in your groups, guys, I want you to talk more about this story. Uh, just remember, God always has our back, so talk about that. Enjoy your week. We'll see you next time. And remember, God's got you. Well, I hope you guys learned a ton from that message today. I know I sure did. And right now, we're actually gonna make some time for you to think about and talk about what you just learned. So some questions will pop up on the screen for you guys to go through. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We'll see you next time.